Hi, I'm Talia. Hi, I'm Matthew. And, and we, we are, are the critics. critics. And this week we're back. Talia's back from Japan. Reunited. Reunited. <laughs> uh, I won't sing. Uh, and we <laughs> and we're starting off our reunion tour with uh, <laughs> the legend of Tarzan. When did Matthew become an Iron <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Things happened whilst you were away. <laughs> it's a dark period. <laughs> Um, and not particularly legendary, we don't think. Mm. Uh, so let's just jump into, I think, some of the biggest problems that we think this movie had. And then, because it wasn't all bad, it wasn't as bad as uh, we've been hearing, uh, and there is some good, but there are some major problems. And firstly, uh, it set after... Tarzan's return to England. Yeah. To become so, Clayton once again. So, and that's really cool, but we'll get to that just now. But... I mean, even though it was set after, at least 40% of the movie was flashbacks. Flashbacks. Too many. Too many. And setting up things like, surprisingly, Tarzan liked Jane. Mm. Like, there's a lot of time spent in flashbacks developing that relationship rather than uh, the present, rather than, you know, developing his relationship with the animals, um, which we can... And for me, this always just comes... Origin stories, when they rely so heavily on force-feeding you, this is what happened... Mm. To me, it speaks to an unimaginative script writing. Yeah. You know, and not actually trying to see how, in their present situation, these people are able to engage with those feelings. I think it also made for a very uh, choppy... Uh, it was yeah. put together in a very choppy way. Yeah. Which speaks to your point about pacing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this has... I think this is... Uh, a, a strong nominee for worst pacing of 2016. It was so like just back mm -hmm. and forward. It was just stra very really strange the way the story moved. Immensely jerky. And then at the end, there's about three bosses that we have to find. Yeah. And they all get fought really quickly and there's no real emotional. Like they deal with the one to move on, then they deal with the next to move on. And then we get to our main one, which also doesn't really have much of a conclusion or any build and up they, to it. they built up that character to be so villainous. Uh, and then you don't get the payoff that you no. you expect. Not at all. It. Although it's a cool, it was a cool way that it happened, but um, it should have been more like on an emotional. Level. Yeah, it wasn't. It yeah, and almost humorous. Mm. Like the fact that he used a mating call to to yeah to, be, yeah, to basically <laughs> uh, bring about the demise of our villain isn't the way that um, it should have you, gone down. No, it's not with that much build up. Not with that good. Uh, an actor playing a really good villain. Um, On the tough side, yeah. there were a few good uh, points about it. The acting being one of it, as That's you mentioned. Certain. What a great cast. Uh, yeah. Christopher Christoph Waltz, always amazing. Although they did rely a bit too heavily on his strength of sitting across the table from his uh, tortured a, victim. There was very much an inglorious boss that seen yeah, in this movie. Very Tarantino-ish. Um, but I mean, it's one of his strengths, and we like we enjoyed watching him do that. Yeah. Samuel was nice. It was nice to see Samuel as a sidekick. Yeah. And not like you know stealing the show, which he didn't do. He played a good you know. I think so. Side dish there. Uh, Margot Robbie, good. <laughs> side dish. Side dish. I love Samuel. Margot Robbie, a good uh, choice for Jane. She made it yes. very very strong, and Tarzan was great. He was I mean, a really good main dish. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> wow. It took a while for him to take his shirt off, but when he did, it was worth it. <laughs> anyway, Body that balls. aside, um, <laughs> yeah, I think he did, like Tarzan in general is a very quiet character. Mm. He's not someone who's gonna, you know, be out there talking a whole lot. He's not a Spider-Man sort of character. Yeah. He's very quiet, intense, sensitive, and this guy really captured that, yeah. I think. Um, so the acting and the cast was one of the strong points of the film. Also, where they picked up the story from was nice. I like yeah. that we didn't have to see Tarzan being abandoned but in the jungle. Did. But we did in flashbacks. Um, it opened with him being Lord Grey Greystoke and uh, already, you know, moving back to England and assimilating himself with that lifestyle. And when I was surprised, I was like, ooh, where is this going? And mm. then flashback, 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 flashback. Yeah, flashback. disappointed on that, on yeah. that point. And uh, it was nice to just see where Jane and him were moving they yeah. were moving from, you know, they weren't falling in love, they were just carrying on. But for some reason we had flashbacks showing you how they fell, fell in love. Fell in love. I mean, Rather than just story. creating a strong 
rather than just having a strong relationship that clearly speaks to a strong founding of the relationship. Yes. Uh, visually also, it was good. It was very good. Good I'm, action. Like, I thought the way they used the CGI of Tarzan swinging on the vines, etc., it was quite seamless with the real footage. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I enjoyed the action and the choreography of the fighting. Yeah, and also I think, I was trying to figure out the word with Talia, but I think it's just, it was a very good visual tone. Mm. Um, like the color. The, how they colored it and uh, represented the different parts of moods the, and parts mm. and where they were in settings. I think they did a really good job there. Yeah, so a good uh, concept overall. Yeah, I think that's kind of the conclusion we reached, is that it was, this is a, a very clever idea for how to follow up a movie. I think it's, and we may be in the slight minority of this decision, I think it's a much better movie than Jungle Book, a much better mm. remake. Um, we know that's going to be unpopular. But anyway, we're sticking <laughs> with it. Uh, you don't know where we live. <laughs> um, but... But ultimately not done proper well. Badly executed. Yeah, I think it was the right idea. I think it was set in the right time in Tarzan's life, but so heavily relied on his backstory that they may as well actually have just remade the original mm. in live action. I'm honestly tired of being set up for sequels. That's, you know, that seems like the go-to position yeah. where you just open it up to a sequel. And I slightly missed Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a good uh, movie to go into after the Disney. After yeah. we've had the Disney. A yeah. nice, serious, intense movie. Um, uh, the one thing that we also just want to touch on is that, I mean, it's, it sets itself in um, Belgium's Congo, uh, but doesn't, I think, and this is a serious point, because, I mean, how the Belgians ran the Congo and how colonialism ruined Africa are very serious points that you can't just engage with and then exactly brush over. So I mean, right off the bat we get told that, you know, the conference between the superpowers was to divide just Belgium and I mean just just the, Congo. just the Congo and the Belgium took some of it. Whereas in actual fact it was all of Africa that was just being divided like it was the scramble for Africa. Basically. Um, you know, and what that meant is that the British kind of came off clean in this movie mm. when they very much didn't. Um, the and USA the, also comes off clean, but they all allowed Belgium to do what they were doing, and everyone knew what Belgium was doing. Yeah. It even made Belgium come off kind of clean. Like, well, you know, if we'd run our finances better, we wouldn't have needed slavery. Yeah, it, would, it made it seem like it was just the one king that sort of needed a, a scapegoat, a way, yeah. way out. But and it even, was actually everything. Yeah. Uh, it didn't take cognizance of the, the seriousness of that situation. Yeah. And also the end was just kind of, yay. We've taken away one chest of diamonds. <laughs> We've all managed the to get them. Done. Yeah, slavery is done, and um, we can all go on living happy lives. And men with guns are not going to shoot us because no. we have Tarzan, and he's tall. And, and we have the diamonds back. Yeah, um, and it's I, a bit simplistic. And I mean, it, I think the movie still could have ended there, but there still could have been because if you're going to open up with like explanationary points in writing, then end with them to be like, this is what actually happened. Because mm. I think, it, and I think, it, I think. One, it didn't, it didn't do um, all of those issues any justice. Mm. But secondly, I think um, it didn't, uh, it didn't end it the way that it ought to have for a movie that relied on that as its backdrop. And initially, we were uh, informed about Tarzan as Lord Greystoke uh, doing anti-slavery activities yeah. in Britain. So I mean, he could have, you know, instead of maybe just carrying on to live with. Um, his tribe, he could have maybe made some impact cross borders, that type of thing. So Something. It, it could have made more of a, a general message to our current world. Yeah. Uh, but it was just a bit of escapism in a way. They simplified a very serious thing. Yeah. Um, but overall, not a bad movie. If you want a bit of action, attractive guy. <laughs> attractive guy, Tanya, yeah. not Samuel. <laughs> uh, go and watch it. Um, overall, what would you give this one, Matt? That's difficult. I'm just going with the single sun. Yeah, yeah, me too. One as well. Yeah, there are better movies to watch out there at the moment. At the moment. Are there? Um, coming up. <laughs> good, good save, good save. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed our review, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on our social media, which is our Twitter, our Instagram, and our Tumblr. Um, you can follow us and Facebook and find out what we're up to next. 
Uh, I'm Talia. I'm Matthew. And this has been our review of The Legend of Tarzan.